that will walk away with the Ultimate Combat World Light Heavyweight Title Belt. The belt is sponsored by MMAUniverse.com, the new face of MMA Sports, Europe's largest supplier of mixed martial arts merchandise. This to be contested over five five-minute rounds. That's five five-minute rounds. It's great by KO, submission, judge's decision. Introducing the Warriors once again to you. Firstly, fighting on the red side of the octagon. He hurls from Denmark. Weighs in on 84 kilos. Representing Team Warriors and Team Ultimate Combat. The Danish heavyweight shoot fighting champion. Fight back V7 champion. Two times Ultimate Combat Super Fight champion. Taking a leaf out of Paul Jenkins' book there. <laughs> He's supposed to be going to slip back, go for another leg lock. Well, it looks like he wants to pass the guard. He's got, he's got Lars on his back. Got power there by Lars to throw him, throw him over there. The thing is, that's the thing. I mean, Lars really is just so strong, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. He's, he's, he's stocky, he's a stocky up fighter, he's uh, a powerhouse, yeah. I 
appears very good in his guard with those long legs. Well, as Pierre showed in the last fight, oh, combat six, you know, I believe there was a point against uh, it's one of the Sp team, the Spaniard guys he was up against, I believe. From Mobile um, I think I think he's fighting a Dutchman actually. Um, Is it? A two hot handle veteran, yeah. Oh sorry, I tell you a lie, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, sorry, I should say I think um, are you telling a lie? I'm probably <laughs> Oh whatever. But um You know, as Pierre showed me showing again. Ross is powering in there. First still got half guard on him. And he's got remedial shack instructions over at the moment. Well, obviously he's right in the corner of right in the corner of Pierre. And Pierre just sort of feeling around at the moment, feeling for position. <laughs> There's a little bit of an activity here. I don't, can't quite tell what he's looking for. Obviously, he's doing his normal, lay, to be honest, laid back routine on the ground. Um, yeah, Lars is you know, a stone, stone type, so he knows how dangerous Pierre is from his guard. It's like Lars is trying to land a few shots, but again, yeah, he's very good at defending, you know, from that guard. He knows what he's doing. Oh, he really stretches out there. Yeah, just, just, just out of range, Lars. He's just out of range. That's 30 seconds left as the announcer just called, so do, do you think Pierre, I think Pierre's just going to... He's just going to ride it ride out. Ride it out, really. But Lars is obviously trying to look to land the blows, basically. And it looks like that's that's pretty much the way this round's going to end. Time. Well, that, that, that was a fantastic round. Indeed. Really good submission attack. So, yeah, I surprised Lars can actually resist those. And that toe hold looked really, it looked like it was on pretty tight. He seems to be walking okay. That doesn't actually seem to to have been any... Yeah, he's a tough guy. Training. He managed to, he managed to keep his... Uh, uh, five rounds, I mean, both of these guys have always been well-conditioned. Um, the ways that they fight and everything. Yeah, last one of those three rounds of Sol Gilbert was still fairly fresh at the oh, end. Oh, he was. He was. I think Pierre's actually finished most of his fights fairly quickly up to now. It's going to be interesting to see. Oh, big knee there. Big knee. It looked like Lars covered up very well. Yeah, I think you saw it. Lars is digging some heavy shots of his own into uh, the legs of Pierre. Pierre back in this guard. Once again, it seems to be a repeat of the previous round. Lars seems to be able to strike very hard, very quickly, from some, some quite awkward positions. I think Lars did actually land quite a heavy strike too. Yeah, there. I noticed Andy Davis actually just asking Pierre if he was okay. Yeah, Lars whacked a couple of uh, good knee shots into, in, in, into Pierre, hit him uh, in the spine. And something's. Andy Davis just checking out if he's okay. Comfortable. <laughs> I think, I think it's actually Pierre's got blood coming from his nose. And uh, from the position, obviously, it's going back on him. I believe that's Cole Tanswell we can hear again. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't, I don't think the chants are going to kick off for USA in this one. Pierre's 
Pierre keeping very active, landing some body strikes into Nelson. Yeah. Yeah, again then. Yeah, like I was saying before, I mean, like, last he strike very well out of quite difficult looking positions, and that's one of them. He can strike off his back with his feet. And Lars is working that to half guard, tucking that knee and quite effective. You now well, it's Pierre's turn to start landing some strikes in. Um, it's a difficult one to say, I mean, Pierre just seems good from basically wherever he is in the ground, you know, whether he's got someone in his guard or whether he's in, you know, the mount, side control, whatever. I mean, I think there he quite simply drew back out um, from that position, he wasn't going to get anywhere with Lars, I think. He's looking for that full man. He's almost in that. Lars has done well to switch around hasn't been any clinch work in this. I mean, I, I do actually wonder if that's due to Pierre perhaps seeing Lars' last fights or maybe vice versa. I don't know, but I mean, yeah, Lars is strong in the clinch. Very. Um, both, both fighters take down to they're, they're very quick, very effective. Indeed. So in that situation, sometimes it's Lars is, Lars is just a powerhouse. He it? is a powerhouse, quite simply. That's a bridge out of that, that's amazing. And again, he just goes for the knee bar again. That looks locked out. That's toe holes. Well, he's looking quite comfortable there, Lars. Yeah. Again, he's looking. Lars <laughs> <laughs> sitting there comfortably, just smiling at him. Again, Lars is throwing some massive strikes off the game. He's in quite a difficult position here. He's just hammering down with his. Uh, oh, he knows, looking. <laughs> Hurt there, I don't know. No, no, it looks okay. This is going to be an interesting one to see off the first two rounds. Been very explosive. Yeah, very evenly matched. Well, I think to be honest, you know, I mean, I, I don't mean this in a nasty way, but you look at the contrasting styles. You've got Pierre, who's very sort of. Um, Elegant and sort of very technique based, whereas you look at Lars and like you were saying, he's a powerhouse. Yes. You know, Lars is a powerhouse, it's a great technique. Oh, yeah, he's extremely powerful at striking. He's good at, he's good at hitting with like short little shots, short knees, short kicks. Yeah, but they've got you know, you can hear them from up here. A lot of drive, a lot of power. Bring him over here, Lars. You're doing great. He just seems to be impervious to pain as well. <laughs> Andy Davis trying to just make a shot and going. Keep it active on the ground. Yeah. I think both fighters perhaps. I don't know, calming it down a bit perhaps now. Just try, almost like a game of chess, I suppose. Yeah, well, they've both got to conserve their energy as much as they can because it's been an extremely hard fight so far. Mm. Again, I'm not too sure if we know. Sorry. So I was just going to say, I'm not too sure if Rilo's looking for a leg or, or an arm, but he, he keeps trying to switch over to that left-hand side of Lars. I was thinking he's possibly looking for, uh, for Kimura. Or, um, I'm actually, I 
I was just saying him before, try and reach around for, to go for the ankle. Yeah. He's very keen on ankle locks. Of course, we train with David Glockland so much, some of his leg lock techniques might have rubbed off on him. <laughs> Solid blows now. And, uh, both, fight both fighters just seem to be. Um, I wouldn't say not doing anything, because obviously they're not, but they, the activity seems to have calmed down. Yeah, a little bit. Both playing very tight. Um, obviously, Lars knows how susceptible he, he, he be to submissions if he, you know, if he sits up back and lets his arms flail out, whereas yeah. uh, Pete obviously knows how hard Lars can hit if he lets him, mm. lets him get in position where he can face out. And, uh, and land some shots, so you know, they both play it very cagey. It's almost catch 22, isn't it, really? To say, they're both just waiting for an opening. Watch yeah. that opening where they can, you know, they can attack and go for a submission or land some strikes. Lars just landing some short, sharp blows. I think perhaps more trying to actually irritate Pierre, get him to move more than Yeah, he's else. possibly trying to irritate Pierre, um, get him to move, get him to release his head, let, you know, let him sit back a bit. And, a few strikes. Okay. Oh, there we go. Now Lars still trying to land these strikes here. Yeah, I'm Pierre's just happy just at the moment just to sit there. That's one hell of a uh, bruise he's got on his forehead there as well, I just noticed. Kicks from Lars from down there. He's oh, brilliant guard pass. Again. Oh, Lars almost turns him, but Pierre's got his back. Is he going to go for the choke? He's straight him out. He looks like he's going to his tail. Some place, um, result for Pierre. I mean, this place is erupted. I mean, almost thought Lars had turned it down. I thought he was going to par out and get another. Yeah. I think, you know, Pierre just read it, just read it perfectly and uh, switched his position to take his back. Definitely looked like that. You know, once he had those hooks in, it was completely textbook the way he, uh, you know, stretched him out, made room to take his neck. Oh, definitely, definitely. I mean, it was very well, con very well controlled fight by Pierre. He was obviously waiting for a moment again yeah. like that. Maximum respect to Will. And part of another respect to Maxley. To the initial scheme of his head. Maxley. I think it's safe to say Pierre is ecstatic, but I think he's just too tired. <laughs> well, what would you be? Magnificent results at the end of the night, you know, some great fights all in all. Um, I think there was one fight tonight which, you know, wasn't a great fight. I think this has been brilliant. Obviously we've got the, we have the world title semi-finals to look forward to as well. Yeah, um, the world to wait as well. And possibly even Pierre yeah, defending his title for the first time. I mean, this is going to be, you know, things seem to be getting better and better here. And to be quite frank, I just can't wait for the next one.